Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 60 of Fallout 4. So last episode at the end, Preston gave us a quest to go to, I think it was Grey Garden. Let me see if I can find that on the map. Looking for a new... Oh, oh, no, so it's, it's marked. So <laughs> that's relatively easy. So right there is Grey Garden. We haven't quite gotten that far, but we would have. I mean, we would very have likely have explored that on our own because we're pushing over that way. Also, defended Sanctuary because... You really are one of the good guys, you know? Oh, oh what? Oh, oh, I guess we... <laughs> I guess we triggered one of Preston's flags. Here we go. Thanks, Preston. I already know you think so. I know, but I don't know if you really get it. How unusual you are. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you. Both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another. Even the good ones. But you're different. You really care about other people, even when it isn't convenient or even safe. I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters, that you're making a difference. No! Ah! <laughs> so I think this might, <laughs> I think this might be the last, uh, what do you want to call it, like checkpoint and the companion's relationship. And I think most of the human ones, and even some of the, uh, <laughs> the non-human ones, you can romance. Now, I'm not going to confess my undying mm -hmm. love, or profess my undying love for Preston, but let's, 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 let's be nice to him. I think we'll get our, our his perk after this. We might have to get a new settler. Oh, God, do we even have, who's, do we even have another one? We haven't, oh, I don't know. You just described yourself, Preston. I hope you realize that. Quite the mutual admiration society we've got going here, huh? No, but I hear you. And thanks. Let's just agree to both keep that in mind going forward, huh? All right. Enough chit-chat, huh? So maybe we didn't unlock it. Maybe I'm. Maybe maybe that might be the second to the last check. I don't know. I I, I don't think. Yeah, we, we we didn't get it. I think it's under just perch, right? It would show that. So you got robot sympathy. Yeah, we don't, we don't have the, his thing yet. I guess we're just we're closing in on it. But him, there's like three or four other ones that I can think of off the top of my head. Other settlers that you can quote unquote romance to and profess your undying love. So <laughs> we're, we're we're getting there. What I guess building? we're towards the uh, the perk that we want to get from him. But that, that brings up another interesting point. What other settler or not settler? What other companion? I, I'm for some reason I think I'm just drawing a blank. We have Codrith, we have Doge Meat. We've already gotten Codrith, we've already gotten hit. Well, we're almost done with his, it looks like. I don't think I've gotten another one yet. Hmm. Um. I have decked out the majority of the settlers here, but. Hold on, before I start scrapping this stuff. Are you the provisioner? No, you're not. You gotta take things one day at a time. Agreed. Just wanted to trade a few things. Okay. So let's deck you out. First off, I'll steal your bottle caps and stuff, because that's how I roll. But let's give you some armor, lady. Not combat armor. We're going to very likely be wearing that ourselves. So right or R, is it right arm, right leg, left arm. Do I not have a left leg? Does not appear to be the case. So you're going to need a left leg. Mm, there you go. <laughs> so let's deck you out in some gear, and that should be good. You need a helmet that isn't terrible. I don't think we can give her dog armor, which, speaking of that, if we find dog meat, I would like to go put that on him. Hmm. Am I missing any kind of headpiece? I, for some reason, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Well, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So, let's go give... Do oh, well, so she... She doesn't have a chest piece. Let's trade some things. Hold on. Do I have a chest piece for you, ma'am? Do I have chest piece? Nope, oh, that's the common armor. I saw chest piece, I'm like, yay! No, well, I guess, yeah, we can give you that. That'll make you look really funny. <laughs> look, what, kind of hat, what kind of hat is that? How can you... One of your entire eyeballs are... Yeah, that would suck. We would not be able to see. We would not be able to see. So, dog meat. Assuming you're still over here, buddy. You want some dog armor? You, you, you want to be dapper as fuck? Dog meat! Mind if we swap some things around? He always though? yawns. Doll. All right, so I should be able to give you the dog armor, and I think I can also give you. Ah, you're gonna keep the bandana. You're gonna keep the bandana, and then I, then I think you could also get him some like dog armor helmet. 
double dog collar. <laughs> double dog collar, because he's serious business. Now he's going to keep his red bandana, because he's fancy. So, I think you can also get him, like, a funny helmet, but we did not get that yet. Do you have anything on your Preston, before we head out to, I think, I guess Grey Garden would be a good spot hey, to go. you want to swap supplies? No problem. Okay, yeah, you've got, oh my god. Okay, so, I think what we'll do is we'll deck out some of these settlers again. The other place, um, Sunshine Tidings, that's where we've previously decked out our settlers. Let's call them all back. Again, it wouldn't be a bad idea just to rest, or... What's going on? <laughs> she sounds so funny. <laughs> get over here, Preston. Come on, Preston, get in here so I can just, like, take all your stuff. Preston? Is Preston being dumb again? I'd like to trade some items. Go ahead. That's kind of how it works. All right, did I just, like... No, I didn't give her my gun. For some reason, like, it unequipped my gun. Anyway, right arm, right leg. Give you a left arm and a left leg. Do I have one? No. Okay, well, this is why we need Preston. So I need to talk to Preston. There you are. Hey, talk. Hey, wait there. Okay. This is what we I'm loaded talking. him up with so much shit hey. in the last few Go episodes. Ahead. So, <laughs> this is why he's got so much stuff on him. We just kept making him pick up stuff. Where is that mining helmet? This is your hey, thing. This place is really coming together, huh? Let's trade. I can't sure take all thing. the credit. You can't take any of the credit. So give me the bottle cap, the tato. You don't need that. And before I give you the leather stuff, you're carrying too much and can't run. No way. After I took all that stuff, really? So, <laughs> chest piece, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. Now, I don't need to give you seven. That would just be weird. And you need a helmet. Do I have... All right, well, everybody in here is going to be wearing sack hoods because they're funny looking. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> they're so goofy looking. You do have... Okay, I think you're decked out. You are I just want to trade a few too, things. Not a provisioner, so let me trade you. I don't really know if we need to deck out a provisioner because they're never here anyway. Uh, I don't know. A chest piece, again, same thing. Right arm, right leg, blah, blah, blah. You got the chest piece already, so you need another sack hood. <laughs> um, you should be able to wear your shirt, right? Now you're going to need the undershirt thingy. So we'll give you some road leathers. Right? That's not a... Okay, yep. There we go. Everybody's got a sack hood. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> another sack hood. They're so goofy looking. I love Most it. people are good at breaking things. Sturgis looks like a bamf. Like, let, let's be honest. To trade a so Sturgis is decked Dang. out. Sturgis is decked out. Give me your caps. I'm terrible. I'll, I'll trade you your caps for a full set of armor. Uh, that's a fair deal. All right. Same story here. The same three things. Or same few things. And I think we have one more sack hood. Yes. Do you have a chest piece? No. Do I have any more other than that light combat one? Hmm. Oh, the fortifying one. But that's one strength, one endurance. That's kind of good. I don't know if I want to give that away. I don't think I have another chest piece. Eh, not one that I want to give away just yet. So, hold on. For now, you just equip all this stuff. And then you're going to need some long johns so you have some clothes underneath. There what do you, you go. Alright, everybody's looking goofy as fuck. <laughs> also, apparently I'm supposed to wear my vault suit. Let me check something here. I still have it on me. I think I may have put it... Need something? Is it in here? I don't know if it was in here. Yeah. Someone, someone says to wear that. I don't know what I have underneath. What my my other clothing. Was it the... I think it may have been the Dirty Army Fatigues. That's one strength, one agility. What's the, the vaults you give me? Nah. I'm going to keep the strength and agility because that's a little bit of carry weight. I uh, Carry weight I kind of value considering the way I'm playing the game. So I'm going to hold off on that. I still have a couple Raider things to give away, so... You or you, you have need? gear? You sure. Let me just stop. What Shut I'm up! To talk to you. Wasn't talking to you. Being sarcastic. Mama Murphy I just and you trade both a few need stuff. Of course. So give me your caps. Give me your give me your crispy squirrel bits. <laughs> give me all your crispy squirrel bits, you bastard! All right. So same thing here. No, you don't need six of those. Left arm, left leg. Right arm, right leg. Um. Uh, what? Oh, wait. No, I'm not putting a muzzle on dog meat. No, I'm like I could go get this dog meat, but. That'd be terrible. So, same thing here. Give this dude all of the stuff. That should be it. Because the rad stack, yeah, the rad stack hide elf. It's an entire entire armor piece. So that is good to go, right? We, we good to go? You can't wear the harness? What? Where, where'd the harness go? Oh, let's see that. Okay. Okay, so you're wearing that. You don't have a chest some piece. A lot of people don't have chest but pieces here, but we're still working towards that. Cool. Let's start scrapping some crap. Just to get rid of like the extra arms and stuff. I'm going to keep Mama Murphy the way she is. 
I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give her arm rest. She shouldn't be fighting. She's old. <laughs> That's terrible. Anyway, let's scrap all the stuff. Get rid of all of it. That's gonna feel good to get rid of get rid of this. Get it out of my inventory. Now we have this left leg. Why do I not have that equipped? I may have unequipped something on accident. We'll, we'll, we'll check this later. The leather I'm going to get rid of. No, I don't want to. I don't want to rename that. Leather. No, why, why did it take me to the bottom of the list? Oh, something got renamed. Whoops. Whoops. Get rid of that. 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 And that. Okay. So before I start scrapping everything, let me just make sure I'm equipping all of the correct stuff. So what do I have on my left? What left leg do I have equipped? Apparently I have a left leg equipped, and it's not the pocketed one. Aha, okay, the pocketed shadowed. Okay, so that one is just not needed, so we can get rid of that one. Now, before we start getting rid of everything, what chest piece do I have right now? Pocketed enamel metal chest piece. Now, we did pick up this one, which is one strength, one endurance, which is quite nice. But we also picked up some combat armor right here. Lightweight combat. So that's more laser resistance. It's... This is, this is enameled, right? That's why it's got the extra defense. I think if we can upgrade this at all... Let me see what I can do to the combat armor. Anything? I can do reinforced. We'll do reinforced. It's not really resource intensive. And then I'll do pocketed again. And let me equip that. Let's see what that's like. And we can probably give away this metal chest piece to somebody. And there's no point in me carrying around two. So it probably renamed you. Yep, so it's equal but with more um, laser resistance. So we'll equip that. And we can give away that chest piece. Okay, so we have two chest pieces we can give away. Cool. Let's just scrap the rest of the stuff. Combat armor left leg. We'll keep all the combat armor stuff. We'll get rid of the other, like, raider crap. Uh, raider crap. Combat armor keeping raider crap. Get rid of. Somebody doesn't actually need that. Everybody has, like, left legs already, I think. Alright, so we'll go give away some chest pieces. Let's look at our new combat armor. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, I would like to get rid of a lot of our raider stuff. What it sounds like Marge from The Simpsons. <laughs> I want to trade a few things. Okay. Yeah, this dude it does not have a chess piece, so we'll give you that one. It was bad news, I, so, huh, so silly. Don't take seen one of those suckers before? Oh, sure. Uh, you don't have a chess piece. I just want to trade a few things. Okay. Oh, she's telling her death claw story again. Just listen to Mama Murphy telling tall tales. So, yeah, that's the metal chess piece we don't need anymore. Well, all by myself. No power armor and fancy minigun. I got work Just to do. Can't talk now. And one bullet. You telling me you killed a death claw with one bullet? Come on. What do you take me for? It's true. She's a lying, <laughs> a lying sack of shit. <laughs> okay, Mama Murphy. All right, so the combat armor. We have a combat armor left leg and a combat armor left leg. We have two of them. Now, what do I have right now? My left leg, the pocketed shattered leather one. So, if I can. I can do reinforced, and then I can also do pocketed. Now that should make that way better for me to wear. I, can I do anything here? I can do reinforced. Now, these are both left, or yeah, they're both left legs. So there's no point in customizing that. So I think we have a new left leg for us. So left leg right now we have the shadowed one, and then we'll be wearing this one. So this is just straight up more defense. I like it. It's four more, and ooh, and it weighs less. Interesting. It's got way more value too. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we'll scrap the other one. We will scrap this, and we will scrap that left leg. Okay. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. I am absolutely okay with this. Anything else we need to do our weapons before we leave? Everybody's talking to me all at once. Let's just see if there's anything else we need to do before we leave. I'll put away all of this. Again, this should just break down into something if we ever needed it. That's not a reason I, I've been holding on to it. Not to mention the fact that I can make Preston hold all of it at once. And did I pick up a lot of this stuff? What 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 do I have? What what's weighing me down? Some mods. I feel like most of the weight's coming from our aid section. So corn, carrot. I, I'm gonna keep the great mentats. Grilled rad stag. I don't need all this. I don't need all of this at once. Let's get rid of like uh, I'm gonna keep like 10 on me. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep like 10 on me. Same thing here, we'll, we'll put 12 away. And we'll put 3 away of the Mentat. So just to have like a stack, a reasonable stack of all this. All the Mud Chops, Mole Rat Meat, the Nuka Cherry. And we, we, we had a spot for that specifically. 
But I mean, I'm just going to start putting it in the workbench. And it's not like we can't access it later. Again, same thing here. We don't need that many. Psycho Jet. Useful, but I'm going to start putting it away. Purify Water, we don't need to keep with us. Rad X. While very useful, let's put away most of it. Right away, super useful. And you know what? I'm at the point where like oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use one of the rat X's we have because my uh, not rat X the rat away, rat away. Where are you? Let's just use it. Get rid of some of our rads. We've we've been carrying way too many rads for way too long, and it's kind of annoying. Put away 40 of those. Man, feels good to get rid of some of this stuff. Stim packs they weigh zero. Keeping all that stealth boy. I'll keep that for a rainy day. You never know. It doesn't really weigh that much. I guess we'll eat just, that's that's only three things, so we'll, we'll eat that. Refreshing beverage, I think I'm going to keep in case I do get addicted, like, as we're out there fighting. I have one addict all, but I'd like to hold on to it. Um, mostly, I think we're good. Uh, I think we're overall pretty good. We can put away some of the buff out, obviously. Blood pack, we'll hold on to. Crispy squirrel, but that's an easy thing to eat. Alright, I like it. Quick save in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Now, the only quest that should, the only thing that should be marked, if I remove, no. If I remove... Nope, can't remove my marker. Remove my marker. Okay. The only thing you should have a marker right now is Grey Garden. Good. And I still wanted to go hit up Red Rocket, hit up a couple of the settlements on our way back. We could still visit Ten Pines. Hmm. But I think what's going to end up happening is when we go down here and we go up, we'll go like up and explore a new area and we'll drop our stuff off that way. So let's go to Red Rocket. Red Rocket! <laughs> And hopefully we didn't, like, mess up. I really don't think you can mess up a loyalty with Preston there to get his perk. Because we didn't flirt with him. I don't think that's how it works. But we'll keep him with us because I'm pretty sure we still have to work towards his, his uh, maximum loyalty before we get a new settler. Now, i got to remember, this is no longer using 38. This is using 45. So, yeah, it hits harder, but I'm not using 38 ammo right now. I have nothing on my build using 38. That's something to be mindful of. Whether or not I want to, like, convert this to a 38, I don't know quite yet. But, yeah, just something to, something to pay attention to. Let's see what this place is looking like. What do you got now? You got a bunch more settlers, a bunch more people. Power's low. Defense is probably okay. We were putting our crops down here. Do we have any... Nope, oh, good resources. Do we have any food that we can put here? I can do carrots and potatoes. I think corn and mute fruit are probably the better ones to be spamming. Can I get rid of this tree? Yes, it was so in the way. Well, first off, Seems to be growing let's harvest well. this. Feels good to be able to come through here and harvest all this stuff, because this is all XP. This is all XP for later. <laughs> Once I start spamming adhesive. Uh-oh. I really appreciate everything you guys do. You need corn on your head? So she, she's uh, kissing Preston's butt again, and Preston's getting free stuff, and here I am getting nothing. <laughs> the, the usual. So, I don't really want to go too far with the corn. I think that might be a little bit silly. So, why don't we just put, like, <laughs> that proc, though. <laughs> that proc. Every time. Every time. If only it would proc when I'm doing something that gets me, like, 25 XP. I think when I was... Oh, oh I think... What, what was I making? Was I making... When I was making Rataway, I think I got, like, 25 XP each. That would that would be absurd. To get XP for all that. Or, or, or the, like the, the 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 proc for all that. Too bad that didn't happen. All right, so that is a a, a lot of corn. Let's put some lines of mute fruit down. Oh, you can't angle it if you're outside of the settlement. That's dumb. There's some more mute fruit. There we go. I'm probably getting it way too tightly knit, but I like to keep it compact. Okay, so that's okay. Well, that's it. we're at eight. If I can get this one down, eight units of food. If I could, okay, eight. Let's just go to ten. We'll be good at 10. Alright, so making a bell is always a good idea. And I don't recall having one in this settlement, right? Because this place is really new. Yeah, we've barely done anything here. So let's put a bell down. Ring it just to make sure we get everybody. And also, did any of this put corn and mute fruit down? Like some of this, sometimes it's grown already. Okay, no. So let's start assigning settlers to work. You. You do not appear to be doing anything yet, so you can work on food. Sure. You don't appear to be doing anything either, so you can again work on food. Okay. Alright, so we have five people. I think one person from here is a provisioner. So they're not currently here. I think you were the original, because you're already on food. 
right? No, wait, no. no. You're the guy I just assigned over. Wait, why don't you have armor and you're not doing anything? For shame. Is everything taken up? Let's see. They only have 17 value of food? Oh, looks like I need to put... Wow, we need to put more food down. We actually need to put more food down. So, we'll do more mute fruit. I mean, sure. The problem with mute fruit, it, it's excellent for our food values, but you get one per a harvest. So it counts a lot towards your food values, but you need more people in mute fruit to keep up with your corn production. Because corn's only half a point. Alright, that should be good. Let's just tell you to do stuff. Got it. Okay, so let's see how high we can go up on the food count. Watching that up top. Keep going, keep going. 18, so, okay. So that means there is, what, three. Okay, so hold on. I'm trying to find out all the ones that don't have assignment. A surprising amount. Looks like I need to put a whole other person on here. So, you. Sure. Now, if we don't go to 24, then we need more mute fruit. Alright, so we should be good. So, our food should be... Our food should be good. Our food assignments. Now, defense, again, I'm a little concerned about. But looking at the resources, I'm a bit scared because of the oil cost. So we've got crop. We've got defense there. We've got turrets facing that way. Hmm. Maybe getting some up here on the wall. <laughs> That's like an excellent defensive position, if I do say, my, say so myself. Look at that. That's got some coverage. Anybody coming up the hills? <laughs> That's the, I would not like to come up this way. Nope. That would end badly. You got all those turrets and then the turrets hiding in the bushes and shit. So as long as nothing comes from back there, they'd be good, but... That's obviously where they're going to come from, because that's how it works. <laughs> uh, anything else scrappable in here? There's a surprising amount of trees that need to get gone. Get out of here. No, no, get out of here. So, do I want to, like, wall that off? That's not really a good idea, in retrospect, putting it that close. Like, maybe one day I'll just slide all the crops over a little itty bit, and then I'll wall it off. In fact, that's a really, really good idea. For when I start actually defending, or not defending, but really doing some settlement building with when I have a little bit more resources. I think we'll spam walls around a lot of the places and make it so like you have to come into the settlement in a specific fashion. But for now, I think Red Rocket's doing fine. Let me just drop off some of the resources we've gotten, because sometimes we pick up stuff when we scrap things, and I don't want to have crap in my inventory. So, this place is good. Where are we going now? Let's quick save, check our map. Next place to hit up would be Abernathy, so Abernathy is just over here. And some of this mute fruit is actually seems to be growing well. Harvested, so we'll have to put away the mute fruit next time. I want to carry I it around with me. Assign someone to this. I don't need to assign I anybody need to, to assign this. Assign someone to this. All of this just like randomly. Yep, all of this just randomly cropped or bloomed. We're good. It's all harvestable now. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? Mm. Don't much care for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. Okay. Always listening to what they have to say. Sometimes we get things marked on our map. I like that. Dear old Aberdathy. Oh, what, what, what? Is that trash can Carla? No, that's not trash can Carla. These are all our different provisioners. I see I see the uh, Brahmin. You're from Ten Pines. You know what I call a good day? You're far away. One that ends far, oh, far ways away. Hi, how are you? What I really should do is I, I, I should deck out these provisioners. I just need to trade gear with you. Because they travel. And, you know, if for some reason they were to be attacked... I don't know how well they're going to defend themselves or how, how often they're going to need to. I don't, I don't have any ar armor right now. But, like, maybe next time I catch one of them, maybe I should throw some armor their way. You know? Like, what what if, what if like, I'm loading this area and they walk by and a rad roach attacks when they die from something stupid like that? Yeah, I, I'd probably benefit from giving them some sort of defense. There's so many Brahmin running, walking around. You're a trash can, Carla. Yeah. You got anything to trade? Carla. Hey there. Trading? You're crazy. I'll think about it. I only got time no, for I wanted to trade. I pressed the hey, wrong button. You again. Shut up. Here to trade? She's so mean. Let's see what you got. I got a little bit of everything. She's so mean. All right, so let me go to miscellaneous. Bobby pins are quite nice. How, how expensive is that? 14 caps per. All right, well. Or it's 14 caps for all of it. All right. You have a very limited selection, ma'am. What do you have under junk? Do you have any shipments? See, a lot of this stuff is nice. You don't have any fertilizer. If you had some fertilizer, I'd very much consider buying it specifically so I could make some jet. <laughs> and they could make some money. But I think we're good. But guys, it's going to be that time to wrap the episode up. Say, say hello to the kitty cat. 
say hello to Kitty Cat Meow. So, episode 60, took care of Sanctuary, took care of Red Rocket. I need to assign someone This stuff someone to all this. needs harvested. We have a couple things to do before we set, up, set out. And we're going to be going to Grey Garden, which is nice because it's right along my way. So, again, to mm, kind of go over it again, we'll hit up like this grid and just walk over to the right and explore things as we come across them. This. And Grey Garden is right along the way. So, that, that, that works out really well. So, wrapping up here, episode 60. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hey, my fight.